Hello everyone, welcome again to our channel here. And then uh, in this video, you will learn about how to read the if function and then string function, character function, make chart, and also use hello up and fill up in Excel. Okay, let's see how to do that. So again, this is what you learn in this video right now. It's first is the if formula, chart, character, and if, and also how it's look up and fill look up. Okay, so first we learn about the if formula. It's if formula it's help you to get the result from the possibility that you have. For example, here I have the set of the exercise here. So first, what you need to do is you need to check the condition. Like say here the description it will be say if a that means true and then if b that means false from this score solution here. So what you need to do first is First, you just need to remember if equals sign if, and then I just use caps lock right now, if, and open bracket again, and then check. If you see here, this is it's a help you to understand more about the structure of the formula. So like this one is logical test, comma value if true, comma value if false. So first, it's the source. We need to click the source. So that means here, and then what else? So equal sign if before equal sign a remember if text please add quotation okay quotation mark a and after that close again and comma again remember also um not all of your uh, excel it's using same like for the spread it it's using comma or semicolon but sometimes it's also using semicolon not only comma and after that it's comma and then quotation again what it say the condition if a what's that mean so it true it will be true so i just true okay then okay and then do the same thing and then comma so this is only two value or two possibility right so if not a so it will be the other things the result will be false that's how you do it open and then close and open again. here done the total of the closing bracket bracket it's following the how many if that you have right now here i have one if after it open i need to close okay and then click enter and then here this is the result you just need to drag from this uh, there's a symbol here so like this where just drag and drop okay that's two value how about three value if three value just like this equal sign and then if same open bracket and then click a click the search equal sign quotation a it will be true comma quotation again true so if a will be true and then comma again this is three value right so we need to have two if okay so if uh if three so two for the if if four uh so if uh for the if it will be three so if again open bracket and then click the search again b13 type equal sign b and then quotation again, comma, what will happen if B false? And then quotation again, comma, if A it's true, if B is false, so what happened if not A and B? It will be very false. So quotation again, very false. Okay, quotation. How many if that you see here? It's two if, right? So the closing record also same too, like that. And then click enter, done. Okay, that's how you do it. What's make difference is only you need, just need to add if after comma. If to value is directly in the last uh, description, right? But it will be add another if, if like this. Okay, get it? Next, how about, uh, the, how about number? It's, it's almost same, actually. You just need to click if. Remember, if text, you need quotation. For sign if, and then click the search. If score more than 70, it will be true. So if B32, and then this symbol more than 70, and then will comma, quotation again, it will be true. Remember, it's only two, so only one if. And then if not, if less than 70, it will be 
false like that and then close swing breaker done here we go like that okay again if b32 if score uh, from this one the search if the search more than 70 it will be true but if less than 70 it will be false okay that's the uh, idea okay now uh, we learn about how to make like sample I want to make this uh, cell will be highlighted by red color if less than 70 so how to do that highlight your cell and then click here conditional formatting and after that you click highlight and sell rules and then click last then change maybe example yeah, 70 and then click okay it will be automatically uh, marked with the red color okay depends on the condition that you add okay that's the two value of number what the difference between text and number before it's text now it's number if number no need quotation anymore okay the quotation mark is only for the text. Okay, next, how about this for value, sir? So if for value, it's same. If for value, you need to uh, add how many? Just three, if, okay? So equal sign, if, and then open bracket, click the search, and then uh, what's say here? More than 70, and then comma, it will be what? It will be T. Quotation, don't forget, and then comma again, if, do the same thing, if B42, 42, 42 then more than 60, comma, it will be F. One more if, because it's four, right? Comma, if, open bracket, B42, same search, comma, Sorry, uh, more than 50, the third condition, more than 50, it will be, comma again, it will be W. And then if not all of that, it will be VW. Okay. And then the total of the quotation, it, I told you it depends on the if that you use it. The closing bracket, the total of closing bracket. So how many if? One, one two, three, so three. So after that, what you need to do, it's only close the bracket with three bracket, closing bracket. Okay, and then click enter, done. That's how you do it. Okay, done. So we're done with this one. Okay, we just say, okay, okay we're done with this, okay. Next, we go to chart. This is how to make chart. Okay, so first uh, example, you need to highlight the source of your chart like this, and then directly go to insert, and then choose the chart that you want. Example is 2D columns. Here we go. Then, if you do want to resize it, just click this. Okay, it's resizing. Here we go. Okay, done. Sir, so how to change or add the uh, table? This is called axis. This is called legend in here. If you want to add uh, another thing here, just click plus or right click, okay? And then click legend here. If you want to show it, it's legend. It's like the parent of this one, the search, okay? And then if you don't use it, just uncheck this. And then if you want to add the data labels here, it will show it to you the data labels. Okay, if you don't want to put the access, so also no need. Just check it, just try. Okay, that's how you do the chart in the Excel. You can change everything you want. Okay. Next, uh, I think we learn about with this one. Next, it's character and if formula with the character. Okay, the character formula have left, mid, right, and also land. Actually, have land also. It's land. Land. Actually, land is forget the total of the character that you have. Okay, the total of character that you have. Okay, now we learn one by one. If left, 
Usually this one is to get the symbol. I just delete everything here to get the symbol. Example, left, I want to get from left. This is the condition, left. Sample, two character. Okay, mid, start with, start in second character. And then the total character that you need to get, it's three. Okay, three. Just make it three here, three, three. And then for the right one, it will be what you need to get. It's only two character. Okay, that's this is the condition. Okay. So so how to do it, sir? So equal sign, left, and then open bracket. Usually this is to get uh, the code from the text, something like that. Okay, open bracket. And then what it say here, text, comma, number, character. So click the source text only, and then comma. How many character that they need? It's two, right? So two. And then close bracket, and then click enter. There. That's how you do it. How about here? That's, so we move to right first, because it's right the same, like left. Right? And open record. Let's say text, comma, number character. So click the search here. Number character that we want it's two. So I just add two and close record and enter. Done. How about mid? Mid a bit different. Equal sign. Mid. Open record. Let's say here text, start number, number character. In mid, you need to define the start number from what character? From where? Okay, so click the search here. Well, let's say here start with the third character. So a comma, three, comma, let's say here number character. How many characters that you want? Three, three, okay, close bracket, and I click enter. That's it, that's how you do it. How about Lancer? What is for? This is to get the total character. It's only equal sign, and, and then open bracket. Let's say here it's only click the search. They will count directly how many characters that they have in one uh, cell. There. Okay. Done. Okay. Uh, next, you will uh, learn about. And wait, wait, one more. It's if. Yeah, here. So let's do it. Okay, so in here it combination between if and character. Okay, so for the type it will be get from a the first code a, and then the array I will get from the here b c and the last one. So we will use left and right. Okay, for type and area. So how to do it? Equal sign if of course this is combination open left because we got from left right left. And then open, click the search here, and then comma, how many character? It's A and C, it's only one, right? One, closing bracket. And then after that, if left A, uh, 54, one, A, and then comma, what it will, what, what it will be? Student, okay, quotation again, comma, if, <laughs> Sorry. Left. Open bracket. Same. A. Fifty-four, comma one, comma one. It will be a close bracket, and then after that, what else? It will be an. And code comma, why say it will be parent? And then if not A, not M, it will be teacher. Teacher. Okay. Close breakout. How many if? It's two if, right? One, two. So close. Okay. Something wrong with this one. 
Let's go on. Teacher, comma, Okay, here, uh, you need to add equal sign. So if left a 54 equal sign A, it will be student. If left a 54 one and it will be parent and the other one it will be teacher. Okay, you just need to add equal sign after the closing bracket with the left. Okay, we enter, done. You need to do it like this, yeah. Same, with this one it's same. If open, so it get from here, right? So it will be right, if Right. Yeah, if right. How many X? It's so the search, the search, and then comma. How many character? Two character, right? And C A and A E two, and then close equal sign B C. It will be regular. Comma, regular. And then, so if uh, it's only two possibilities, so it's only one if, it's easy. So you just need to add, uh, if not regular or if not BC, so it will be VVIP. VVIP, done. And then close it. If right, if this one, the sort from get the, from right, and then get two character, if BC, it will be regular, but if not BC, the rest will be called as VIP. That's how uh, it works. Okay. And then just drag it. Done. That's how you do it. Okay. Next, the last one is uh, fill up and, and H loop up. So actually, it's fill up and H loop up. It means you get, uh, you will get all this data or the answer or result it from this table. So actually, there will be a two table. With and without the answer, here's the different things, different uh, form or different table. So when it's 2D, it's click equal sign, fill up, and then open bracket, click the source, it's this one. Here, the value A75, and then comma, table array, here, just highlight the table, and then at F4 or dollar sign, F4, it will be automatic do dollar sign. So this is to make it like uh, define precisely same for the other things, okay? Dollar sign and then comma. Uh, for the type, if you get from where? It's two, right? The column index, it's column index two here and then comma zero and then oh, close zero. It's just need to add like only beside it from here. That. Done. So you do it. How about the area? It's same. Before it's you just need to change before it's two because from here this is vertical. Yeah, remember vertical one, two, and three. We have three, one, two, three column. Okay, so the, the next column it will be three, right? So you just need to change equal sign, fill up. Fill up, open bracket, click the search, and then white cell, comma, table array, just highlight, add the symbol, dollar sign by here, or press the F4, okay? And then after that, comma, the column three, right? Before it's two, now it's three, three, comma, zero. And then open bracket, sorry, close bracket, and click enter. That's how you do it. Okay, once again, here like this, 75, the search, and then you need to comma and then uh, highlight the table array here, and then comma uh, in the what column, in column three, and then comma zero. Okay, uh, so before we are done with the look up, and then now it's H look up, so it's same, but difference with uh, between P and H look up is only the data, it's from before it's vertical, and now it's horizontal. Equal sign, each look up, and then open bracket, 
and click the search and comma table array here highlight the table com uh, f4 don't forget dollar sign comma this is from row, uh, which row it's second row right so two comma zero and then close okay. done that's how you do it there how about this same equal sign before it's two in the second row now it's the, in the third row so just change in uh h loop up and then open bracket click the search comma highlight the cell add dollar sign but press f4 and then comma which row it's three or, or the third row right so three comma zero and close bracket that's how you do it okay we're done with everything here so if you have questions just let me know once again thank you for your attention uh, i hope that you learned something from here and see you again on the next video bye bye thank you